Hey folks, it's Gel, and guess what just came out? Sports Champions 2! But, I feel before we can really talk about Sports Champions 2, I need to show you Sports Champions 1. And that means, me duct taping the camera to damn TV. Now this is, this is the main reason why. This is the three-point calibration, which they removed from Sports Champions 2. Mostly because a lot of people complained about it. And I've shown you Gladiator Duel enough that I figure I should show you what a table tennis looks like. Yeah, I'm playing against DLC character Deadman, who would later star in Medieval Moves Deadman's Quest. This is the table tennis, and uh, that's me flicking the... me screwing up. Flick ball, hit the thing. Now, I want you to notice how well that thing works. Like, you can't just waggle it. I'm going to try just waggling. Yeah, see? Doesn't do anything. It is tracking my hand one-to-one. -one. The serving's a little tricky. And that has to be completely fucked up. This is gold difficulty, by the way. On uh, bronze difficulty, the paddle will actually move a little bit to help assist you. Not here. As you can, like, seriously, look at this. Look at this. If I want to, I could do it, like, I'm, I'm gonna do it reverse style. Apparently there's some people, some, like, crazy Asian people, who play this way. I fucked up. I'm fucking up all left and right here. Gold difficulty. Serving's a little hard. Especially when you're being stupid about how you're... There we go. Yes. You can actually play completely wrong if you want to. I'm not good at that whole reverse thing. But, uh... I'm not good at table tennis. Now, as you can see... Like, uh, freaking one-to-one -one tracking, <clears throat> the tilt of the controller, and how hard you hit it, and all that stuff actually matters. What's more, this is what I really love, not the serving. Okay, the serving's a little wonky, <clears throat> I will be honest. Once you get it served, though, look at this. You can actually move closer and further away. That's actually a feature they have. I can get right up there to the net. Yeah. Give me, give me that. Match point. Match point. I get up close. Ugh! What you gonna do? What you gonna do about that? My paddle's going through the table! And, which is an important design thing. Yeah, I, I suck at table tennis. Funny story! I convinced a friend of mine to pick this game up. And his reaction was, They fucked up table tennis! How do you fuck up table tennis? It's the easiest game! It's like, um, dude. The table tennis is hard if you play it, like, for real. And this is some deep, complex table tennis thing. Oh. In fact, it raises one very important question, I feel, which is... How is this a mini-game? Seriously. You've got this super accurate, one-to-one -one paddle control. Um, you know, you can move forward and back, which I don't see in most table tennis games. You know, you have complete control of the paddle and the ball, and, like, th this is table tennis. How is this a table tennis mini game? This is a table tennis game. I forgot I could do that. Just use the trigger button to flip the ball instead of having to do the whole whoop boom, which is dumb. And the whoop boom is dumb. Yeah, that that that's dumb. Serving still gives me a little trouble. Playing table tennis still gives me a little trouble. Keep in mind, I'm playing on gold difficulty. I suck. <laughs> This is why I don't show off table tennis very often. I suck at it royally. <laughs> Needs to bounce on the table. I guess I nicked it with the back side of the paddle. Point loss. Went too far. Boop. 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 Needs to bounce on the table! So you get the idea of that? Wait. Okay, it's... Oh, it's almost playing dramatic music like that. Anyway. That is table tennis. 
as you can see, is very nice. And as I need to see, is it still recording or did it screw me? Still recording, good. Now then, next up on the list is Disc Golf. This is another one of those, holy crap, this is motion control at its finest. I'm gonna do the park, right handed, bronze difficulty. Now I'm sticking with Boomer. But, computer, you can play as a Spectre. This really makes some use of the, uh, of the move's one-to-one -one detection. Like, comparing this to how, uh, that one game does it. Shoulder, waist, belt buckle. Arm length, body width. What it's measuring there. Very important. <laughs> right. Now. Grab the disc, and once again, one to one motion control. This is what waggling does. It's not very effective. But, as such, I can do things that I'm really not supposed to do. Like, uh... Roll it along the ground like that, which isn't very effective there. That wasn't a very good roll. But it lets me... <laughs> yeah, that was part of the Halloween DLC for Sports Champions 1. Which was the only DLC ever released for... Well, they did like a reverse golf hole thing. See, one other thing I'm not supposed to do. Woo! Go straight up in the air! Oh wow, does that go in? Does that go in? Does that... Oh! Oh! But now you're seeing, like, what I mean. The motion control is really good in this. You can't just waggle. It's friggin' one-to-one. -one. Pure one that hole. You know, friggin' one-to-one. -one. Can't just waggle. Let's you do a lot of things you're, like, not supposed to do. Look at that. Oh, oh, you went in the tree. Now give me that. I know how I'm supposed to do this. Uh, I think I'm supposed to angle it a little. Oh, I angled it the wrong way, but it still worked-ish, kinda. I'm gonna do that next time. Hey, you, you just throw that thing. Get me in here. To win the hole. Oh, damn! It was a solid idea, I think, for par. Par! <laughs> yeah, Boomer is actually my favorite character. At first, I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna use Cap, and I'm gonna use Rin," and then Boomer shows up, and I'm like, "No, Boomer's awesome." Bum bum bum! The hole is tied! That is Disc Golf! Yeah, if you play the one on uh, Wii Sports Resort, you basically just do this. Like, as you turn the controller like this, you move the disc like this. And you can't, like, raise it up or down or do things like this. You, you can't do a lot of the things you can do in this game. So, there we go. That, that is Disc Golf. Oh, it's another thing I need to show. Bocce! This is widely considered to be the best game on here. We'll do the regular court. There's a, there's actually multiple courts. But, uh... Yeah, this is... Many people consider this to be the best game on here. And the computer... You know what? The computer's actually gonna be cat this time. Now, you're probably going to say, I don't even know Baji. Most people don't. There's an achievement, once you play it, called I Have Heard of Baji. I'm sorry, a trophy. Once you've played it. Boop. Boop. See, that, that's not even long. A lot of people list that right there, that calibration, as being the worst thing about the move. 
like a bunch of, I was talking to some Kinect fanboys, they're like, yeah, but you have to calibrate the move, you don't have to calibrate the Kinect, yeah, but you have to try to sign in with it, which takes for fucking ever, and then, uh, like, you have the Wii fanboys, they're like, well, you don't have to calibrate the Wii, you don't have to calibrate the Wii Mote, well, number one, yes, you do, if it has the, uh, Motion Plus, you have to sit it on its, uh, you have to sit it upside down for a second, and number two, of course you don't, because it doesn't fucking work. Look, I love Nintendo, but they fucked up with the Wiimote. This, this is how the Wiimote's supposed to be. Now again, look, one-to-one -one control. If I want to, I can go, whoo, toss that ball. If you're wondering how bocce works, which you probably are, the way it works is someone throws out that palino there, which is the little ball. And now the goal is to try to get the most balls as close to the palino as possible. You can actually bump into your opponent's balls and knock them out of the way, if you so desire. Now, I'd like to point out that I can, uh, hold A to aim. There's something I can do to move. Oh, the circle is move. Woo! Woo! I'm moving! Moving and grooving. But anyway. You want to get the most of your balls as close to the Polino as possible, and that is a good roll! Which, I could imagine, in real life, this would be a pain in the ass, because you'd be all, oh, we gotta get out the measuring tape, and then, and then. But, uh, ooh, she's playing hardball. Literally. Um, but here, where we have the rings, and it's automatically measuring everything, this probably makes Bocce a lot better, and also, there aren't courses in Bocce. Oh, look at you getting fancy. Like, Bocce doesn't normally have courses. Yeah, 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 you go. You'll see why I'm doing... I don't even know what multi-point chance means, but, uh... Ugh! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, Stop, 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 Ow! Baby! Ow! Ow! Yeah! That is a roll! That is like a roll and a half! That is like a hella roll! Ugh! Yeah, roll, 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 roll. Oh yeah, that's right. I think you can hit the Polino and move it. There's a lot of depth to Bocce. And again, now I have to ask you, what makes this a Bocce minigame? Like, why is this not just Bocce? Oh yeah! Oh yeah, did you see that shit? I just moved my ball even closer. I'm scoring higher points now. You got Bocce, bitch! What you going to do? Now I get to roll out the Polino. Just like... Uh, nah, 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 nah. Go! Hua! Stop, 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 yeah, yeah, you go, skip. Skip. Yeah, get the get your balls out, skip. Skip. Now this game actually does have custom soundtracks. I'm not using them right now, though. Because, uh, you have to see what happens in the third round of Bocce. It's pretty amazing. All the way there. Ugh. Oh, I had to make this hard on myself, didn't I? This is a this is a tricky one to get to. Stop! 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 Yeah! Yeah! Uh, yes! Yes! That's good. I like that one. Yeah! 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 You you roll your ball. Be be all ball rolling full. Match point. Alright, the big one. Come on, come on, come on, don't hit those, don't hit those. No, this girl used to be closer. Did I win? I won! This is why. Now, now the tiebreaker, er, 
the, the, the thing that determines it. Listen to that music! The epic ass final round music! music. It makes me want to play Soul Calibur except Match in Jeopardy! Except that I want to play good Soul Calibur and Soul Calibur 5 sucked. And 4 doesn't have very good net code. And most people would argue that 4 sucks. Oh, I need to talk about Soul Calibur 5 sometimes. Are we still recording? Sorry, I have to check this a lot. Things like to be stupid. We are. Good. Oh, uh, what's next? How about the shitty one? How about some volleyball? No, I, I know how to play. A crazy thing. Each night, military base, edge of the world. Yes, seriously. Oh! This one, let's use two controllers, that's right. I guess we'll do bronze difficulty. Two controllers, pair these up. Yep. Boomer! I'm going to do Boomer and Cat, and the computer is going to use Vivian and Giselle. Yeah, we got the silver ball. That's the disco ball. Yeah, you you can unlock different outfits and uh, equipment. There's a skull that we could be using. Happy ball, Halloween ball, disco ball. We're using the disco ball. You, your outfit is awesome. Oh, so damn it. Casual. That's your casual. Okay, whatever. Play. Now this is the miniest mini game in here. And that's because it's uh your characters move automatically. You just control the arms. Now mind you, it actually works pretty well. I beat this. That's how you unlock Vivian. She's the boss of this. So I played through this whole thing to get Vivian. That was before they released the DLC that let you just Unlock things nice and easy. Alright. Dramatic music! And yes, we are playing at the edge of the world. This is basically Vivian's stage. And that means... We need the proper music. Where is it? <laughs> Bump. Set. Spike! And yeah, how you twist your arm, and all that stuff, that all matters. Ugh. That, that, point! Ugh! Ugh! Quah! Oh, I should have gone. Look, I can do everything! Oh. Oh, you. Don't worry, guitar. Got him! Boink! Ugh! 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 Guys, actually, you know what? This is better. 
that I remember. <laughs> I forgot how much fun I had with this. Like, even though it's very much a mini game because you don't control your character's movement, like the hand control is so good. There's a good amount of nuance to it. Oh jeez. Oh, oh that worked. <laughs> I forgot. Oh, it's walking time. Shoot up! Come on, come the fuck on, yeah. That's all you, that's all you. You're better than that. Look at that arm movement. That's actually pretty nice. It sort of snaps to some trash, but works. Oh, give me that! Give me that shit! Oh! Yeah! Yeah! Beat Molly! Oh! Uh. <laughs> Something you could do to get your character to move like to the front and the back. Oh, he's dying! Almost one! Match point! It is still recording! Okay, good, good, good. Archery! This is like Zindagi's favorite thing. They love archery. Play! Standard target. Let's see, on the move, flying high, sword blocker. Oh! Okay, yeah, stand. One player, right handed. I got silver difficulty. Two controllers. I don't know how this works with one. Boomer versus Divi, and yeah, it sounds good to me. What do I have for equipment? What do I have for outfits? The uniform. I guess I'll use casual. The equipment. I got skull bow. Competition bow. Remember that power thing appearing. Whatever. Alright. Archery is shockingly fun. It works. Do this. Kicking my ass. This is new to me. 
arrows curve. On bronze difficulty, they show you how they're going to curve so you can get the hang of it. But now it's like, no, no more of you. Oh, she, she actually beat me. That's strange. arrow awkwardly, the controls get a little wonky. It's very rare that that happens, but it does. Like this. Like, what? what is this? I don't even know why this is happening. There we go. There we go. Now I'm getting into this thing. Archery's really fun, because, yeah, how fast you can shoot depends on, there we go, round for me. Depends on how fast you knock your arrows. Which is doing that. It still feels good and different. Goodly different. Oh yeah, that's right. You can, if you want to, you can shoot games this style. Wow, I'm having that happen a lot to me right there. It is an unideal way to shoot your bow, but they let you do it. A friend of mine insisted on doing it this way. He's like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot against the style. Oh, shoot. Like, there's a couple different archery challenges, but that's how it works. You pull and throw out. It's neat. It's a neat thing. Turn the phone ring. It's probably another political fucking up who shit. That's everything except Gladiator Duel, which. I am. I. I. Yes. A little more Gladiator Duel. Coliseum. Yo. So, what makes the archery a mini game? Yeah? This, this game is my game. Also, it needs to be mentioned, Boomer is the best character in the game. Why? Because of that. That is her default weapon. The Spike Club. No one else gets to use it. It has very long range, it is blunt, it is good stuff. I'm gonna use the katana. Yeah, you use the skull sword, Vivian. Now again, pay attention to these things. Damage depends on hit speed and location. this. Again, no waggling here. This is real one-to-one -one action. Also, you can move by pressing the move button to dodge around, but it leaves you open. I cannot stress how much I fucking love this game. Like, Gladiator Duel is the best thing to happen most of the This is my dream come true right here. Is Gladiator Duel. Boop. 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 Alright, make this shit happen. Again, look at that, look at that. Oh! Let's get feisty!
I would really like to know what causes my camera to randomly decide when to stop recording. Seriously, it, it just stops for no reason. Um, but anyway, uh, that was Sports Champions I just showed you. I know it was recording probably at least until the start of Archery. I'll probably cut that up a little bit. Anyway, I um, hope you enjoyed that. And if you're wondering why I wanted to show you that, why well, I was so, you know, well, number one, that's motion control. It's fine. It's one of the best examples of what motion control can be, what it can do. Yo, no waggling, real one-to-one -one shit right there. And number two, Sports Champions 2 isn't quite as good. Like, it's good. I like it. But with the uh, simplified calibration, it definitely hurts the game. And I want you to see that difference. Anyway, hope you enjoyed seeing all of the games in Sports Champions be back with Sports Champions 2 in a minute.